watch this white boat as I move my cursor across. Yep, that's a moving highlight, and this is a stationary highlight. Want to know how to do it? Stay tuned! So you have this, the main clip over here. So our next step will be to bring down the same video clip. Bring it down, and this time drop it on the higher track, right above the first clip. We want to align it so that they both are sitting right on top of each other. So go to the main menu, click on text, and then scroll down and select default text. Once you select default text, you will see a new clip appearing on video tree, track, go to shapes tab, click on it. You can select any one of them, but for this, in this example, I'm going to choose ellipse tool. Then go to your monitor, start drawing your ellipse over that book which we want to highlight. I've highlighted it! No, I have not. I've covered it with a white ellipse. By default, it may not be white when you use your Premiere Elements. So your next step is to change it to white okay, by clicking on the color panel color icon here. It bring your little circle within the palette to the corner here where it's, where it's white. Then press OK. Go to Effects tab in the Action bar. You search for Track Matte. Type in Track. Drag the Track Matte key effect into your clip which is sitting on video 2 track and go into your track matte key effect under matte option okay our our shape within the title clip is sitting on video 3 track so we want to select video 3 click on it now look at composite using for our case we may want to use luma on the video clip inside the lower track we want to lower the opacity meaning to make it more transparent meaning to make it darker okay move it down slightly about so i want to make this title clip as long as my video clip Right, so let's drag it, trim it outwards. Our little ship in the distance is being highlighted now. But wait, it's not over yet. What is this? Add text. Okay. Double click on your title clip. Select your inside the adjustments panel. Select your selection tool. Click on the add text box. And on your keyboard, press delete. You have just highlighted an object using a mere elements. If you like this video, click the thumbs up, leave some comments, and subscribe to my channel. You can download the full course at videolane.com slash prel. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next tutorial or mini lesson.